Hi folks, David Waring here again with InformTrades.com. In our last lesson we looked at moving averages and, and how traders use these in their trading. In today's lesson we're going to look at an indicator which is based on moving averages which is known as the moving average convergence divergence. So let's get started. Okay, so one of the advantages of using the MACD indicator instead of the moving averages is that a, the MACD uh, gives you an indication not only of what's happening with trends in the market, but also what's happening with momentum. So you get an, uh, you know, an addition to the picture there um, that this indicator paints for you. Um, the uh, indicator is constructed by taking a 12 period exponential moving average of a financial instrument and subtracting its 26 period exponential moving average. The resulting line is then plotted below the price chart and fluctuates above and below a center line which is placed at value zero. Um, a nine period exponential moving average of that MACD line is normally plotted along with the line and is used as a signal of potential trading opportunities which you're going to look at in our next lessons. So let's look at what this looks uh, looks like on a chart. You can see here the MACD below the price chart and you can see here the black line is the MACD line and the blue line is the nine period exponential moving average of that black MACD line which is the signal line. Okay. Now, when the MACD line is above zero, this tells the trader that the 12 period exponential moving average is trading above the 26 period exponential moving average. And when the MACD line is below zero, this tells the trader that the 12 period exponential moving average is below the 26 period exponential moving average. So at its, at its simplest, um, the first thing that this is is a, is a, is a easier way to look at a, a moving average crossover system. So. <clears throat> Um, traders are going to watch the uh, MACD line and when it's above zero and rising they're going to look at this as a sign of positive bullish momentum in the market as the uh, gap the positive gap between the exponential moving averages is widening and when it's below zero <coughs> and falling they're going to look at this as a uh, as a a bearish sign for the market as this indicates that the negative gap between the two moving averages uh, is widening. So you can see here the MACD line is above zero and rising and that is bullish and you can see here it is below zero and falling and that is bearish. So it did play out there for us. Um, now the purpose of the nine period exponential moving average is to further confirm the bullish changes in momentum when the uh, MACD crosses above this the zero line uh, and and the bearish changes in momentum when the MACD crosses below the zero line so <clears throat> you can see here the uh, MACD crossing above um, the signal line is further confirmation that there's uh, bullish momentum in the market. You can see here it crossing below and it actually crosses below at the top peak of the market there um, and that was a bearish sign and that was a very good signal um, that this particular indicator caught um, to the bearish side okay because the market did sell off after that. Um, lastly um, Many traders and charting packages will plot a histogram along with the MACD, which is representative of the distance between the MACD and its signal line. When the MACD histogram is above the zero line, um, this is an indication that positive momentum is increasing. Conversely, when the MACD histogram is below the zero line, this is an indication that the negative momentum is increasing. Okay, so. Um, <clears throat> Um, you should now have a good understanding of the different components of the MACD and in, in our next lesson we're going to look at exactly how, um, how, you know, how you can use um, some of the signals that this, uh, this indicator generates in your trading and how um, you can use those to actually place trades and how you can actually use the indicator to get a feel for um, direction in the market and momentum in the market. So we hope to see you in that lesson. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. And have a great day.